Welcome back to We Talk. Today's episode is extremely special because we are literally miles in the air. I happen to start a conversation with my neighboring seat, and he happens to be a senior manager at Amazon. So let's hear what he has to say today. To start off, can you describe your journey from high school to where you are today? Yeah. Um, so when I was in high school, I actually thought I wanted to be a doctor. Most of the courses I was taking were pre-med. I actually did my like physics and math courses in summer school. In my 12th grade of high school, I decided I was more interested in making things than diagnosing humans. So I decided to apply to an engineering school. So I went to the University of Waterloo and majored in electrical engineering. The main thing that had me interested about the University of Waterloo was the cooperative program. Uh, I thought the experience before I graduated would be really helpful. And now I've been in my career 11 years uh, and it was really helpful. Uh, it was critical to getting my first job. My internships also showed me what I really wanted to do. My first three internships were in circuit design. And then in my third internship, which was like halfway through my degree, I had a project that required uh, some embedded firmware. Uh, so it was like C and assembly. And that was the first time I had written software. And I really liked that I was able to prototype and launch features faster. And so when I finished that internship, I went back to Waterloo and uh, took as many electives as I could in software. Uh, and then I got an internship at Amazon. And then I did a second internship at Amazon. And then joined as a uh, SD1. That's my first job out of college. Been at Amazon 10 years since then. Yeah. Awesome. So do you have any advice, people, or tips when they are applying to their own internships? Oh, I mean, I would say uh, the internship process, uh, a lot of it is about learning. Some of my jobs are only the first ones that I think of, uh, but they shaped my uh, preferences in future jobs. So being open to different opportunities. And this is like something that's kind of tricky and it's something I even tell to people who I'm interviewing now or hiring my team now. The more information that you can have about a job before you take it. so. And like it's not always possible in the internships, but if you could talk to someone on the team who's not the manager, that's really great. Or you can have a follow up after the interview. Sometimes the uh, internship interviews are really compressed, like 50 minutes, and it's like the interviewer asking you questions. Um, but see if you do get an offer, if you could get back on the phone with the manager for like another 30 minutes before finally accepting the offer. Yeah, for sure. And so you deal a lot with hiring. Is there anything that you look for when you're picking applicants? I mean, relevant experience is like, it's critical. And so that's where co-op comes in, I guess. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess it's like, it kind of varies in terms of like the level that you're looking at, but in, in the beginning, like start of career, college courses, internships are really important, but then when you get further in your career, they become less important. So like, you know, your first job could very likely be very much in your field, but by your third or fourth job, that might not be the case anymore. So a lot of entry-level engineers that I work with, they studied engineering college, that's where they started. But other people who have been uh, in industry for like 10 or 15 years, their degree might have been in mathematics or, or something else. And so that's something that also to keep in mind. Right. But I guess if you have that drive and you're willing to commit to this, then you can forge your paths towards a position as admirable as yours. And I was wondering then, as someone who specializes in tech, what are your thoughts on AI? Oh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I don't know a ton. Uh, I mean, I think it's uh, outbreaking what's happening right now. It's really interesting to see all this stuff happening. I think it's definitely going to change the way that humans interact with computers, but I also think a little bit sometimes um, it's like kind of slightly blown out of proportion. Like I kind of think back to uh, like when Java was becoming big and people were like, okay, well, this is going to, you know, hugely get rid of software developers uh, because, you know, we don't need to write in C or C++ anymore. Like people will be more productive. But I think what we actually saw is people making more things. And so there's like right. more opportunities. Right. So probably what's like, that's what I'm betting is going to happen with uh, AI. But I mean, some people are, you know, saying the other way. That there'll be less opportunities or uh, people will be automated exactly. out of jobs. But uh, most, like the Industrial Revolution or I mean, even the creation of computers didn't really get rid of jobs. It just created different jobs or people did the same work faster. 
Um, so it'd be interesting to see what happens. But I think it's sometimes it's a little blood on your portion. I, I could definitely agree with that. How do you foresee the industry of CS evolving in the near or far future? Um, I think the industry would be more productive, so more output. Uh, think more experimental because mm. the cost of building things would be less. I do think that there would be movement towards even more high-level representations of applications, like more natural descriptions of applications. And then it's like kind of blurring the line between product management and engineering. Uh, but I think there always need to be engineers auditing that work, tuning it, customizing it. And so I think people will make more things and engineers will be operating at like an even higher level of abstraction. Right. Yeah, I definitely agree. I also foresee like a rise in innovation as people become more uh, experimental and there's more efficient allotment of like time and resources and people can use their you know work to the best of their ability. Do you have any advice for people who also want to head into fields in tech? Um, that's a good question. I think just, you know, stay persistent of like, you know, life is not like a totally uphill path. Right, it's not linear. Right. Uh, be open to, uh, you know, discovering things about yourself and uh, what you like. Um, try and play to your strengths as much as possible. And yeah, just, I mean, don't stop. Like, if you have a setback, it, it doesn't necessarily mean that like, you're wrong or, you know, that you're not good enough. Uh, it just means you need to try something slightly different, probably. Hey, yeah. Our mistakes are a blessing in disguise, for sure. That's awesome. Thank you so much. No worries. Thank you.